Forsythia is a plant that's known for its bright yellow flower in the early spring. But there's many other things about the Forsythia that people may like about it. They do have a green leaf to it after they flower, and they are fairly hardy plants. If you have a location that you're having trouble growing other plants in, such as underneath a black walnut, the Forsythia can grow. The one thing is that the more light you give the Forsythia, the more flowers it'll give you. So if you do decide to plant underneath another tree, it'll grow, it'll grow fast, it'll flourish, but it may not have as many flowers as you see ones that are in full sun. But taking that information and you, you use it, you can still use this plant and be very effective for screening and blocking. When you plant a forsythia, it may be small, but they do grow. I've seen some forsythia grow up to six feet in one year when it's really happy. And they throw out leaves everywhere. The older that it is, the thicker, the more branches that it has. And even though it may lose its leaves in the wintertime, all the branches that's formed all over can create a thicket and a block. So even though there's no leaves on it, it can still provide you some privacy to it. Forsythias are a very tough plant as well. They can take a lot of abuse. I'm almost 32 years old, and when I was growing up on the nursery, I remember one of our neighbors taking a brush hog and trimming the forsythia using a brush hog. If you're not familiar with what a brush hog is, that's probably one of the worst instruments you could use for trimming anything. And he used it, and the plants went grew right through without a problem. They actually enjoyed it, I believe. So if you have, you're have you not very good at growing plants, or in an area where there's a lot of abuse, a lot of kids, or a lot of deer, and you know that the plants are going to get abused, forsythia might be what you want to go after, because it can take that abuse and continue to grow right through it. Forsythia is easy to grow. It does like moist soils. It can take dry soils as well. The, it's not as good in the dry soils, but it can tolerate it. It's a very tough plant. The first year you plant them, you might want to water them, after, water them a little bit. After they're planted, they usually can take care of themselves in almost about any circumstance. Uh, they, it depends on the variety that you get, but typically speaking, I would say an average forsythia that I see that's not cultivared or anything like that, you count them getting about 10 to 12 foot tall and just a little bit wider than that, maybe 15. If that's a little bit too big for you, you can easily trim them. Just like I said, you can hack away at them and they don't seem to care too, too much about it. If you're not really interested in trimming that much, but you still want the yellow color, I do know there's a couple dwarf varieties of forsythia that take very little trimming at all. They maybe you don't, never even need to trim them, and they still look very, very nice. Forsythia can be used. It, it's a wonderful plant. I always enjoy driving around in early spring and looking at all the yellow flowers coming out, and it does bring me much joy seeing it. If you like to plant a forsythia, I would encourage it. Just put it in a spot to allow it to grow. Thank you.